Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Let us pray. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Use this show to begin a new thing in the world. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Idikai Mary's ministry is here. Uh, today, I want to invite you to a new show. We have uh, different shows that we put out there on television, and um, we have uh, we have shows uh, that we put out there on YouTube. I mean. All of our shows actually go, uh, uh, actually, the show on YouTube, uh, pretty much. So, um, today, I want to officially launch a new show. <laughs> I want to officially launch a new show. And it is called The Holy Ghost Generation. Last week, the Holy Spirit, God is my witness, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said this, you have to aggressively pursue the younger generation and the, the, the middle-aged, older ones who are young at heart. Uh, those who want to see, to yield, to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. And this is what I began to sense in my spirit. When I was growing up, I went to church steadfastly with my parent, but I never heard, apart from uh, the song in the sacred, uh, sacred songs and solos, I think that was it, yeah. And from the church in Nari, where you sing some songs about the Holy Spirit. There's not much teaching. There was not much teaching. There wasn't much emphasis on the fact that missionary enterprise, devotion to God, the Christian life, battle, in the world in the name of God. Success, prosperity, riches, wealth, health, and the bringing of the gospel through various means are the work of the mission person, the Holy Spirit. I wasn't told that. In fact, I went through all my notebooks when I was in seminary and throughout my university days from baccalaureate to the master's program and even to the doctoral program that I am working on by thesis, there is no doctrine about the Holy Spirit that was taught me. There was no doctrine about divine healing. There was no doctrine about raising the dead, cleansing lepers, preaching the good news to the poor, there was nothing about driving out demons. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. In fact, there was nothing even on divine spirituality. Yeah. But God wants me and those partners, those people he's bringing into our ministry and church and churches, he wants us to aggressively pursue ministry, not just with the uh, older generation or the middle-aged generation, uh, but also with the younger generation. He wants that. The reason is that if we lose the younger generation, we've lost everything. We have lost everything because when the younger generation grow up to become really, really matured adults in their 30s and especially in their 40s, they will lose God. 
we won't be able to have them. They will, they will go to other religions. And the God does not want that. God doesn't want that. So the ministry to the youth is there. The, the churches have their youth ministry. But I wonder whether it is an aggressive pursuit of the ministry of the Holy Spirit among the younger people. The reason I'm saying this is this. Only the Holy Spirit can adequately shape the life of a person. Only he alone can adequately direct mission enterprise. Only he alone, through us human beings, can adequately direct the way this aid should go through leaders that has been shaped by him. See what I'm saying? So I launched today in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost generation, as part of the Decai Mary's ministries. So I welcome you young people because most of the music that we will play will be um, will be a uh, younger generation kind of music. Oh, I mean, we will also have music there for uh, other tests too. But it will be music mainly for younger generation. And also, um, I am praying for God and I know already he has blessed me with a television studio and a radio studio. I see it and I know is coming to pass so that um, it will it will also be out there uh, uh, throughout the entire world through the radio and so on. Already we are trying to find a radio station that will be hosting this program also. Okay. Around the world that's what we mean. So this should go throughout all of the world, all of Europe, England and Europe, all of China, India, and uh, all of Asia, all of the Americas and North America and Canada and Mexico. All of the Americas, I mean, I've already said so. All of Africa, South Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, etc. All those places. All of Lesotho, Botswana. All of, uh, all of um, uh, Mozambique, uh, uh, Togo, etc. All of Ghana. So please, I want you to tell your friend as you watch this video that we have this program on that is called the Holy Ghost Generation from the Dikai Maris Ministries. I, every program that I present to you, we will also have a short clip of the um, a text, a text of it on Blogger, uh, on my Blogger, Dikai Mary, Dikai Mary's Ministries. You will have a short clip of it on Blogger. Um, excuse me. It, it will be right out there for you uh, to read, uh, especially if you if you don't really understand a lot of my British English or a lot of my Nigerian broken English. Okay. So, um, we have launched this uh, show and let us pray. Father, we ask. You said, if we ask you anything, Jesus, so you said, you will do it. You are the author of our shows. We ask you to bless our shows, the Holy Ghost generation, experience with God, expect good things with God. Uh, Ilikai Mary Center for Big Ideas. Uh, and also the CRCK, which is our Sunday, our Sunday morning worship, sometimes Sunday evening also comes up. So, Father, we ask that you bless these shows. We ask you to take it to every town and city, every nation of the world. Let this show minister life to those who hear it. Let the life and nature of God come upon those who hear, who watches. Lord, we thank you that Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Through this, Lord, bring redemption. Through these shows, O oh Father, let there be deliverance. Let there be healings. 
let oh holy spirit move so mightily among those who watch our shows that are there minister to that your power will be upon them and they will know that god exists and that the word of god in fact they will experience the integrity of the word of god lord we pray that you will begin of course we receive those things we've asked you so that we can continue to 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 be established in life and ministries we ask this in the name of jesus christ and father we confess this prayer solidly based on your word which says in philippians 4 19 for you O lord you have supplied every needs of us according to your riches in glory in christ jesus our lord based on this word we prosper based on this word we minister based on this word lord we do the impossible things for you and for ourselves and our families in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you father let us just seize a moment and begin to thank god father we thank you we praise you we worship you we adore you we give you glory father we thank you because you are joining people to us you're calling people to us lord we thank you in jesus name amen now we go to the first uh, video the first teaching of the Holy Ghost generation and I want you to turn with me to um, turn with me to Genesis chapter 1 the first verse and the first phrase in the beginning God created in the beginning the Almighty began to create now, I also want you to turn with me to Luke, Luke Gospel, chapter 1, verse 37, verse 37, 37. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Everything that I will be doing from now on in all of our shows, in all of our teachings, whether on television, whether on YouTube, whether in churches, in conferences, there will always be the Word of God, not just to back it up. Whatever I do, whatever we do as a ministry, must come from the Word of the Living God. The reason is because everything in heaven and on earth is subject to, to the word of God and to the name of God. Everything is subject. In fact, as one of my favorite preacher puts it, he says, everything is subject to change because of the word of God. When the word of God comes into contact with anything, that thing is subject to change. Hallelujah. So I am talking to you today about how you can have a possibility mindset how you can have a possibility mindset i realized that a battle has been going on in my own mind not in my spirit but in my own mind and this battle is because all my life i have had so much negative things i have been around so much negative people few and positive people positive in this way with the word of god the music you listen to the songs you hear the lyrics you read what people say is actually very depraved in fact when i look up in isaiah 53 transgression means transgressing the law of god but when i look up the word and iniquity i discovered that in the original greek it is depravity the the, the continuous insatiable desire in a human being to do something wrong 
to always want to do the opposite of what is right many times, many a times. And sometimes really enjoy it and congratulate those who do it. And that is a very false premise to base the notion of existence. Now, the notion of our existence, let's, let's, let's not talk about the other things, is based on the fact that God exists. God is the beginning. And because God begins, I began. Because God exists, so you exist. Because God exists, I exist. But sometimes you say, I have heard this. What is new about it? Let me tell you what is new about it. What is new about this among the Holy Ghost generation is this. When the Holy Spirit applied the same word that you've been reading all along, revelation comes into it. Not just revelation coming into it. It begins to carry supernatural authority inside you. It begins to flow out of your spirit into your soul. Your soul is where a great battle is taking place. Because what you've accumulated, the negative influences you've accumulated over the years makes create a war between the spiritual life of God and what is not of God. There, there is that place of being radically and um, sensible in terms of critical approach to life, instead of, instead of um, entering into God and allowing God to, 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 to invoke a, his own kind of existence in us by his Holy Spirit through the finished work of Jesus Christ. So let me say this to you. God calls you and I to a life in which we believe that all things are possible. That in the sight of God, there is nothing that is impossible with God. Therefore, there is nothing impossible with you to accomplish in life. God is my witness. Verily, verily, I say to you that you can accomplish that task ahead of you. There is no use being afraid of entering into things that look impossible. Now, when you go to big cities, you look at the skyscrapers, you look at the, 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 the locomotive, the, the train, the, the different the business. of You see what human beings have done. Or you go to uh, 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 some of the international airports and you see plane taking off, take flight, going down, going up. You, you look at the, the, the science and technology way we've gone in life. It is because human beings believe, they persisted and believe that they can accomplish that. And so they persisted and it came to pass. So why is it, why does it look so impossible to you that you can accomplish what others, uh, what they have accomplished and more. The Bible says, with God, nothing is impossible. And with you, nothing should be impossible. If you can, if you can see it, feel it, and Many a time I will tell you, put it down on paper, type it up in, in, in your modern gadgets or in your laptop or computer and go through it over and over again until it sinks into your soul or into your mind realm. Now, in this our program, we will be, we will out of every topic that we share, like what we are sharing with you today, with God, nothing shall be impossible. In the beginning, God created we will make out a mantra. We will make out uh, a confession. We will make out a confession or a mantra. You see, when I went through, when I lived in California some years back, I discovered almost all of our streets. There, there are few places you go to in California, you will not see yoga, yoga place, a place for yoga. Strong presence of Buddhism, even though some of the yoga places they try to 
remove themselves from Buddhism and just make it an exercise thing. But really, Hinduism and Buddhism is strongly part of this part of the spirit behind it or part of what is in it. Part part of how it came about. And the and the qualitative things behind it is really Hinduism and Buddhism. But I want you to begin as God blesses you with opportunity to begin to follow our videos, to begin to follow what we are doing so that you have a mantra, you have a confession, something that you can say because when you say it, it becomes powerful. If you do not say it, it the, 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 the power of the word of God to accomplish something in you and outside you is limited if you do not say it, either with your mouth or with your heart or from deep within you. And nothing shall stand between you and the word when it is spoken. Because the spoken word is the thing. When I will start teaching on the power of a word, you will understand what I mean. Yeah, you will understand what I mean. I've also been able to share with some of my friends that I've said to them, listen, don't be angry with me if I don't call you, and so on and so forth. They do not know that it's because there are certain things I do not want to be hearing anymore in my lifetime. The reason is that I want people that I can enjoy. They, 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 they inspire me. People that create happiness in me. So that I stay focused and inspired all the time. Yeah, that's how we should be. Okay. When I start teaching on why you should not be involved in striving with people, you will know what I, why I'm saying this. You will know why I'm saying this. Now, let's go to the let's go to the mantra or to the confession for today. I want you to repeat after me. God exists in me. I accomplish the impossible. God exists in me. Repeat it after me. God exists in me. I accomplish the impossible. I want you to think about it. I want you to say it over and over again because it is from that word of God that with God nothing is impossible. For me, this is how I say it. Because God exists in me and I exist in God. And with, because with him nothing is impossible. Therefore, I can accomplish impossible things. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to share this with you. Please. I want you to think seriously about the qualitative life that God has given to humanity in Christ Jesus. If you doubt the existence of Jesus, find somewhere where you are on your own. And lift your hand up to heaven and look up to heaven and say either in your heart or openly and say, Jesus, if you exist, reveal yourself to me in one way or the other. Let me know you exist. And for those of you who have already received the life and nature of God that is inviting the king, that's Jesus, to come and live in you. And you want to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. Holy Spirit, pour yourself like rain upon these people who are crying out because they want more of God. They want more of you. Amen. Amen. And don't forget to repeat it. God exists in me. I accomplish the impossible. This is Idikai Mary saying to you, I will see you, I will see you next time on the Holy Ghost Generation.